Are you currently experiencing your Wi-Fi keep getting disconnected? And whether you're using a Wi-Fi connection on your Windows PC or simply using an Ethernet cable connected to your internet, I'm going to show you step by step how to fix them either ways. So the first thing you want to do once you're on your Windows PC is click the Windows key on your keyboard and you want to simply type in network connections and you will find the view network connections here you want to click on that now if you're using wi-fi i want to first ensure that your wi-fi is plugged in your internet is working you can try that on your other devices for example your mobile and on your pc you want to ensure that your wi-fi is set up correctly and that you have the most updated driver one of the first way you can troubleshoot this is just simply right click on it and ensure that you have a it not disabled and if it's disabled then you want to simply go ahead and enable it right you can also do the connect disconnect to try to check that you can also try the status to see what it looks like and from here you can go ahead and even try to diagnose the problem you also have the option here to disable if you so desire as well right another thing that you can do is simply right click and go to the properties here on your wi-fi and from here just simply go ahead and click on configure and from here you can simply go to the drivers and ensure that you do an update of the driver once you click an update driver you have two options you can either search automatically for the driver and this will search automatically and give you the best and updated driver Another way how to do this is to simply browse manually and then you want to simply click and let me pick from the list and this will show you various versions of drivers that was installed on your computer or let's say various drivers that you can pick from that you can simply test to fix the issue. Another way or you can simply get the latest driver of your computer is to simply go to your system information and to find that is simple go ahead click the windows key on your keyboard type in system and you will find system information you want to click on that. From here you want to find the type of your computer you are the system model let's put it like that. So here you will find the system model you can search for this online and type in for example internet driver a lot of people using computers with intel drivers and you can head over to the intel website search for the model of your computer search for the appropriate model and get the latest wi-fi driver there or as i said you have the system model you can search for your computer online and you can type in wi-fi driver or internet drivers and you can find the latest version of that so if i will search for this online i can easily go ahead and find the wi-fi driver and install it directly from the website right so this is another way how you can easily find that now if you're using an ethernet cable this is also another way you can right click on that go to the properties the steps are the same you can simply click and configure and from here you want to click on power management you want to ensure that this box is unchecked the box that says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power you always want to ensure that this is unchecked and simply click on ok by doing this this should at least fix the problem for you if this does not work another tip that you can do is to simply go to your settings so all you have to do is just simply right click on your windows anywhere you can even access your settings from your display settings or personalized it does matter on the left hand side you can access the network and internet options now here you want to simple click on advanced network settings and then you want to search for network reset simple click on network reset and you want to hit that reset now once you click on reset now you will have a pop-up and then it will ask you are you sure you want to reset your network settings simple click on yes restart your computer and i can guarantee you this should in fact fix the issue now as i said last resort if none of this works it is much better to find the official driver of your computer and reinstall the latest version of the driver and i guarantee you this should work guys i wish you all the best if you find value within this video go ahead and give this video a like let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and if you're seeing the channel for the first time i really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button to become a part of this community thank you guys for watching and see you next time